writing in itself as an activity is neither beautiful nor consoling. Not? What is it? It's industry. It has its own pleasures, which are the pleasures of uh, total engagement, hard thought, uh, verifiable activity, verifiable results, productiveness. That's the word, productiveness. Mm. Mm. Beauty and conservation belong not to the activity, but to the yeah. to the results of that activity. Uh, the, the book you write may or may not be be uh, have beautiful prose. Um, having written the book, being able to look back on having completed the book may or may not be consoling, but writing the book is quite different. Work. Yes, it's good work. That's good. Mm. Because one isn't in writing uh, transforming the world into the world as it should be. Um, That would be too much of a task if one undertook it every time. No, I think that grasping the world as it is, um, putting it within a certain frame, taming it to a certain extent, that is quite enough of an ambition. Taming? What do you mean? Taming, yes. Taming its Taming its wildness, its disorder, its chaos. Uh, If we remembered intensely the times when we have been intensely suffering, we wouldn't want to live. Um, But, speaking for myself, I haven't forgotten uh, you know miseries of my childhood for example just as I haven't forgotten the pleasures of my childhood Um, the beauty of misery for instance in your childhood is that it is a source of writing for your writing later it's not the beauty of misery at all no no it is a source, yes, but it has no beauty. Yes, I have plenty of happy moments in my childhood, many of which are in the book. The richness of those moments depends very heavily on their being embedded in a certain life and a book is a way to bring that life to life it's a way to embed those moments so that their intensity comes across Um, those moments recollected impromptu and told as stories mean nothing, really. Just anecdotes. Just anecdotes, yes. Ik vroeg, waar kijk je naar? Hij gaf geen antwoord. Ik ging dichter bij hem staan. Een zee van schaduwen beneden ons en het scherven van bladeren zich verplaatsend, ritselend als schalen over de duisternis. Is it tight? vroeg ik. Ik stapte weer in bed in de tunnel tussen de koude lakens. De gordijnen gingen uiteen. Hij kwam naast mij liggen. Voor het eerst rook ik niets. Hij nam mij in zijn armen en omhelste mij met formidabele kracht, zodat mijn adem mij met een stoot ontsnapte. Aan die omhelling 
Viel geen warmte te ontlenen.